So it's a very interesting time for home buyers in Manhattan's market right now because it is a buyer's market and prices have compressed uh, 4% for co-ops since just last year. So with that pricing compression, which is very rare by the way, uh, since supply in Manhattan is inherently limited, um, there's a couple things that you could take advantage of. One is that the stock market is at an all-time high right now. So for some people, it could make sense to take some of those chips off the table and put it in a stable asset that could appreciate gradually over time, like Manhattan real estate. Secondly, the interest rates are pretty much at an all-time low. So I just worked with a buyer that secured a 3.5% interest rate, which if you ask your parents about this in the 80s or 90s, you know sometimes these rates were upwards of 15%. So there's an opportunity to take advantage of that. Um, I think this speaks to two groups of people. One is my millennial first-time home buyers who maybe could grow into, say, a two or three bedroom while still maximizing the $10,000 cap on state and local tax deductions. Secondly would be my, my millennials' parents, the baby boomers, who may be living in a home out in the suburbs that's four or 5,000 square feet and paying really high taxes. Take advantage of the life in New York City where you can move into something a little bit more manageable. You don't have to be responsible for the upkeep of the entire building. And still, there are plenty of options, especially on the Upper East and Upper West Side, where you're close to the great hospitals and culture and arts, that you could take advantage of uh, your maximum tax deduction of $10,000. Those options are here in doorman buildings. So feel free to give me a shout if you have questions. You know where to find me.